Did you know that a staggering 15% of retirees in Canada live below the poverty line? That's over 750,000 seniors struggling each day to make ends meet and afford basic necessities like food, shelter, and life-saving medication. It's a harsh reality that no one in their golden years should have to face. Imagine being 75 years old, living alone on a fixed income that barely covers rent and utilities. The excruciating choice between paying for your heart medication or putting food on the table a decision that could mean life or death. For far too many elderly Canadians, this heartbreaking scenario is their daily reality. They sacrifice their livelihoods to build the society we enjoy today, and now they're forced to make impossible choices that no human being deserves. But what if I told you that help is on the way? That a long-awaited lifeline is being extended to our most vulnerable seniors? An announcement that could change the retirement landscape forever and finally provide the financial relief they so desperately need? My friends, I come bearing incredible news that will undoubtedly bring relief and joy to millions of retired Canadians. The government has heard your pleas and is taking monumental action. Starting in late March 2024, the Old Age Security, OAS, pension will increase by a whopping $670 per month. This is in addition to the current $750 received annually, totaling $1,420 in OAS payments. To break it down further, seniors will receive two separate payments of $335 each, directly deposited into their bank accounts before the end of March and later in the year. This substantial increase could be the difference between affording life-saving prescriptions or going without. Between keeping a roof over their heads or risking homelessness, it's a game-changer that will provide invaluable financial breathing room. But that's not all. The government is also increasing the OAS earache payments for low-income seniors. More details on the exact amounts and eligibility criteria will be announced soon, so stay tuned. If this news excites you as much as it does me, do me a huge favor and smash that like button. Let's spread this incredible announcement far and wide so every senior knows the help they deserve is finally arriving. Who will like this video? I'll pray they receive their increased benefits by tomorrow. Hello, my dear friends. It's so wonderful to be with you all again today as we discuss an issue that impacts each and every one of us the financial security and well-being of our nation's seniors. Try to envision the profound, life-altering impact this payment increase could have. For the millions of retirees barely scraping by, it represents a newfound ability to afford nutritious meals, safe housing, and critical medications without agonizing trade-offs. The psychological toll of constant financial stress and anxiety, waiting on their golden years, could finally be lifted. This boost to their monthly budgets isn't just about dollars and cents, it's about restoring dignity, independence, and joy during what should be their most carefree season of life. It means no longer having to turn down family outings or special occasions due to costs. No more missed medical appointments that jeopardize their health and wellness. With this monetary lifeline, seniors can simply focus on living, without the omnipresent shadow of poverty looming over them. Let this increase serve as a powerful testament to the government's unwavering commitment to uplifting and supporting our nation's elders. They fought for our freedoms, raised generations, and built the prosperous Canada we all call home. Ensuring they can retire comfortably, without the burdens of financial hardship, is quite simply the moral obligation of our society. While more can certainly be done, this substantial increase in OAS payments represents a monumental step in honoring that sacred duty. It's a firm declaration that we will not let our cherished seniors go forgotten or neglected. Their care, security, and well-being will forever be a paramount priority for this administration and all future governments to come. However, as encouraging as this news may be, we must remain pragmatic. The rising costs of health care, housing, food, and other essentials continually outpace fixed incomes like OAS. Inflation erodes any financial gains before they can be fully realized. And for those grappling with chronic illnesses or disabilities requiring costly care, even an extra $670 per month may not alleviate the tremendous financial strain. We cannot become complacent or mistake this as the ultimate solution. It's merely the latest step in an ongoing journey to build a retirement system that truly honors and cares for our elders in a comprehensive, sustainable manner. While celebrating this hard-fought victory, we must adopt a balanced perspective, acknowledging that much more is needed to fully address the multifaceted challenges facing today's retirees. Escalating health care costs continue pricing out many seniors in need of regular treatment or long-term care. The affordable housing crisis leaves countless elderly individuals in precarious living situations or paying exorbitant portions of their income on rent. 
and the looming threat of inflation could quickly diminish any financial gains from this OAS increase. So as we rejoice in this milestone, we must also renew our commitment to tackling these systemic issues head-on. A multi-pronged approach that safeguards healthcare accessibility, incentivizes affordable housing developments for seniors, and implements policies to preserve their purchasing power or time. Only then can we claim to have created a truly dignified, financially secure retirement landscape for all Canadians. Now you may be wondering, who exactly qualifies for this $670 annual increase in old age security payments? The criteria is quite straightforward. If you are 65 years or older and currently receive the OAS pension, you will automatically have the additional funds deposited into your bank account starting in late March 2024. No extra applications or paperwork are required. For those between the ages of 60 to 64 and not yet enrolled in OAS, you can still begin receiving these boosted payments upon turning 65 if you meet the legal status and residence qualifications. Simply apply through Service Canada in the routine manner. My friends, this is a watersh moment in the fight to protect our cherished seniors, those who dedicatedly built the prosperous society we all enjoy today. But our work is far from over. We must remain united in our advocacy, continuously raising awareness and demanding further action until each and every retiree can live out their golden years with true financial dignity and peace of mind. So I implore you, like this video and share it far and wide. Subscribe to stay informed on all the latest developments impacting our elders. And most importantly, keep your voices heard. Contact your elected representatives, support seniors' advocacy groups, and vote for leaders committed to fortifying the social safety net. Together, we can create lasting, systemic change that finally provides our elders the comfortable retirement they have earned and deserve. Though the path ahead is long, today we ought to celebrate this monumental victory and the renewed hope it brings. For the millions of seniors barely staying afloat, this increase is a life preserver in their fight against crippling poverty during their supposed retirement years. It's a chance to reclaim their independence, their dignity, and the simple joys of aging. So let this be a starting point, the dawn of an era where our nation's elders are cherished, prioritized, and given every opportunity to thrive, where their selfless sacrifices are honored through policies that provide true financial security and peace of mind. The journey will not be easy, but our determination must not waver. Our elders have moved mountains for us, now it's our turn to uplift them. The path forward is clear, striving until every senior in this great nation can retire with the comfort and respect they have dutifully earned.